And now, let us climb the Himalayas with the team, the Himalayan Legos from TUM, on a mission to a plastic waste management. Imagine being in a town that is 5,000 meters above the sea level, in the lap of Himalaya with a surreal nature. But there is a duality. In the one hand, you will have a good surreal ecology, but in the other hand, you will have a dump of plastics creating an uh, overshadowing to its mountain's beauty. But ignoring this, you will go head back to a hotel and you will feel cold. Why? The problem is the lack of insulative housing. So we tackling the problem of plastic waste due to the fast tourism, increase of insulative housing demand, increase of unemployment rate in the region of Ladakh, with a vision to create a sustainable future for the Ladakh's urban region, socially, economically, and environmentally, we are the Himalayan Legos solving three solution, sorry, three problems with one solution, and this is our solution to convert the plastic waste into a construction brick. So let's dive deep into the solution, that is our recycling plant. So we are working collectively with the UCC or the government policy buyback scheme, which give us the raw material to process it innovatively and give us a final product as a brick. But how? So after collecting the waste from the UCCs, that is Urban Collection Center, we will shred it, mix it with a fly ash in a rotary clean, which is already aided with an air pollution control device, mold it to a bricks. And this whole process is solarly integrated. So it makes the process energy efficient. But is it efficient? Let's find out. So we have approximately 40 tons a month, the plastic waste in the region of Leh, which with our solution, we are expect to have approximate 50,000 of bricks, and which is sufficient to build 11 flats. And due to these numbers, we are the Legos come with an efficient efficiency of recycling rate of about 90%. So we talked about the solution and its efficiency and its feasibility, which creating a great impact for the Ladakh's ecosystem. So let's talk about now business. Thank you, Rahu. So um, basically, main stakeholders of us can be developed in, divided into three key groups, investors, customers, and advocates. Currently, we have three investors on board. Um, the Recycle, uh, Recycle X company, the Hale Institute, and the local governments, who will help us with set up the business. Then we have also established strong relationships with the local NGOs, um, who will help us raising the awareness of our breaks, as well as um, help us further development of our business. Then, finally, our main customers are the construction companies in Ladakh and furthermore in India as well. And if we talk about business, how can we not talk about money? We will obtain an, an initial investment of 78,000 euro um, from the investors that I just mentioned before. We will project a revenue of 180,000 euro in the first year with a profit margin of around 12% over the first five years. With this, we ante anticipate being profitable within the first 24 months. Then, um, to capture the uh, market share and to gain a competitive advantage, we decided to use a penetration pricing strategy. Then, um, furthermore, uh, our investment has a payback period of um, only 3.5 years, which um, can showcase the viability and efficiency of our business model. We can start tomorrow. Our product, <laughs> sorry. Um, our product has three benefits uh, in three dimensions. They are social, environmental, and economical. Socially, it generates um, employment opportunities and um, highly insulated houses for local residents. Environmentally, our product achieves um, achieves net zero um, carbon emissions. Uh, contributes to sustainable development goals as well as reduce plastic waste in the region. Economically, 
our brakes are strong, cost-effective, and adaptable. So, in conclusion, the Himalaya Legos provides a sustainable and effective solution for the region. Um, we are implementing a circular economy, and um, we are cleaning up Ladakh brick by Bye. brick. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we are happy to welcome the other team members on the stage. Wow, that's quite a lot of people. <laughs> brick by brick, member by member. Okay, Jari time. Nobody wants to ask anything. Everything is clear. <laughs> no, thank you for that. That was a fantastic presentation. I was really, uh, that's, that's, that's great. I love the idea. Uh, I'm very impressed by the traction you seem to have uh, gained already. Um, my question would be, I mean, how have, how have you uh, ensured the, uh, say, engagement of the investors you mentioned, or specifically the local investors? Have you been going there and negotiating with them? And uh, can you tell us about that, please? Yes, like I have an answer. Like those are like my uh, seniors and also like those are my mentors in my bachelor's university. They already have that plant, uh, like recycling plant in the uh, region of India. So like we already talked to them and they will help us in the field, like machinery and other cost effective uh, things. And they also suggest like what we can do in the future in the next steps. Uh, just to add up, uh, like uh, the mentor which we had, the Hale Institute, so they are, we are also in talks with them and they are ready to provide us land which is near to the city center which we are providing the solution to. So we'll be having a city uh, collection center there and we'll be setting up the factory there. So we are able to co cut our costs in that manner also, uh, we onboarded uh, several advisors in the committee. So we could take advisors in the business planning and the business model and for the product prototype as well. So. Just a brief question. Do you have any contacts with uh, public authorities? Uh, yes, like the Hale Institute, like we'll talk to the government because the Ladakh is like very, uh, it's a union territory in India. So like they, are, they have good contacts in the public authority. So they are in contact with them. To add up on this shortly, Ladakh has the status of a union territory since 2019, so very recently. And they, this status grants them extensive rights for supporting local business to levy taxes to have just as extensive self-governance rights. And also, we've learned through our mentor from the Yale Institute that the awareness of the plastic waste problem is extremely high among politicians in Ladakh. So they're very keen and are working on solutions right now, which is a perfect timing for us to come there and present our solution. Um, yesterday, I googled similar solutions, and I found easily like 10, 15 different business models carry back schemes for tourists, uh, local people uh, collecting the garbage. Can you give me um, uh, an overview of why your business model is better and is outcompeting the others? Uh, just to answer that question, uh, I would just say that we are specifically targeting a region in Himalayas, which is quite remote in its own self because there are very few entry points, so there are not many factories set up in that. And due to that, there is a lot of increase in tourism, as Rahul mentioned in his slides. So there is in, uh, high demand of insulated housing. So setting up a factory there is a challenge itself, which we are able to tackle with our mentors. And we would be pr coming up with a solution which is actually local in the region and it is in demand. So we are tackling the solution. We are providing a solution with, which can tackle the problems which they have in the local region. And to add up on this, plastic waste is a phenomenal resource because you can reuse it in the way that you need it. For example, you've probably, if you have done research, you have probably found an initiative in Lombok, Indonesia, who have done the same things about recycling plastics into bricks. But their problem is they have lots of earthquakes, so they do very light bricks. We have the problem of the demand of insulative housing, so we um, built a brick that is insulative, which is not that important in other regions, so we adapted the process to the problems that we have in Ladakh. Thank you. So you mentioned that you are all ready to start tomorrow. That's a great spirit. So my question is, what needs to be done tomorrow, and, and what, what other important milestones you need to hit uh, in, in order to make this a success? 
so for the further steps, we can say that we are already in talk with our investors. So as Ella mentioned in her slides, that we have onboarded few of investors, which is, all, which is a company, as well as Hale Institute. So we have some of the investors onboarded, but we are in talk with others. So that's the next step to, for tomorrow. And for the future goals, I can say that building up the factory actually in the region and prototyping it and standardizing it according to the local and governmental needs is the future step. Um, how, big is the, how big is the Himalayan market, and can you scale this to other global markets? Uh, yes, actually, the construction company in Himalayas is $13.12 million in just the Leh region which we are targeting. So it's a big company. and It was remote for, like, it, it has just been explored in the last decade. So there is increase in, uh, in housing demand in the region. And there are many companies, which construction companies, which are building their projects in that region due to increased tourism. So we have a huge market to tackle there, and we can cater to them with high number of plastic waste already present in the region and daily produce. I'm sorry, but the time has run out. <laughs> oh. All right, but this was a perfect presentation of the Himalayans Lego. Yes, okay.